Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 556. I'm here with Robbie from YM Camera. Hey Robbie. What's going on? I am so happy to be here back at the shop with you because Heather's back. you have got to update us on the latest gear, what's happening, how, what the supply chain is like these days, if you're able to get things in, what you have in stock. So. I went to go look at a couch yesterday and uh, I, was at, I was at Lazy Boy Furniture and we found a couch we loved. And the guy's like, yeah, let's get it on order for you. He said, you'll probably be in this couch in around February. <gasps> for real? <laughs> so supply chain and our industry is better. I can get you cameras and lenses <laughs> before, before February. February. <laughs> I promise you anything you want, it'll be here before February, which is totally fine. So. But the truth is so the suppliers are having an issue, so it's an issue for everyone. Well, it's, it, it, it's like a three-pronged thing where factories are still at 50 to 60% of, you know, uh, pre-COVID production. Shipping is uh, air freight, and that's gone up 10 times. And then you got companies like Sony launching, launching a PlayStation 5, and they're buying up all the air freight to get more units to the U.S. So it's, a, it, it's, it's funny. It's a, we live in a global world. Uh, I will say this. Um, you know, certain brands are getting better. Okay. But there's still, every, every brand, like Nikon has one, uh, Canon has a few, where they have some impossible to get mm -hmm. white whale items, but, uh, you know, we have them on order. I mean, you do, the, yeah. you do the best that you can. Yeah, so, definitely. I mean, okay, do you anticipate, I don't think I've seen it yet, but you tell me, that the prices of, like, gear will go up just like everything else is going up? Uh, I think certain items will go up. We're, um, basically, if a camera's $3,000, I've talked about this before, they will put instant savings on them where yes. it's $500 off, $600 off, $1,000 off. I don't think we're going to see super aggressive instant savings, especially mm -hmm. from Canon, Nikon, and Sony. Yeah. We're going to see maybe some $100 off thrown in there, some $200 off thrown in there. But, you know, don't expect, man, I'm like, I'm worried that if I buy this camera today, it's going to be, you know, $400 off in two months. Uh, it's yeah, not, that's probably it's, not going to happen, not, right? Yeah. Amber says she's loving her new gear. Amber, what did you order? Amber is local. She has a studio. Awesome. I think she shoots Canon. Awesome. Amber. Oh, Gatsby. it's Yano. Yeah, she's yeah. Uh, Sony. Yeah. yeah, Sony. Oh, Sony. <laughs> she went Sony girl. She, Recently? Yeah, she's yeah, she's straight on all her Canon. Yeah, my list. yeah, sorry, Amber. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your new gear. It was, it was, she was Canon, right? Yeah, Canon girl going Sony. Really? What Love did she buy? Sony. What camera? A7 III still. I, I, think I've, I think I've said A7 III for the past three years on these live videos. I, like every video I have to mention it. It's like, it's what, well, right now it's 1700 bucks. Right. Dual card slots, you know, great focus and 4K video. It's just awesome. Yeah, she said yeah. Sony girl. Now. Sony girl. Now. Um, yeah, Amber, maybe it. I could stop by your studio sometime. We should catch up, and then we could do a video and we can talk Chris about Christina. That's funny. It's just like because she, uh, Amber bought a Sony, like a small full frame one, something really, really, really tiny, as a family camera. I could, that became a professional camera pretty quick if you had to get right? some lenses to match. So Is that definitely. Right? Okay, give me the rundown on Sony A7 III, right? $1,700 body only. Right now, on sale, okay. usually $1,999. What is, because you know. Do you know my go-to lens, Robbie? The lens I always ask about, like how much? 70 to yeah. <laughs> Well, Tamron has their 70 to 180. Okay. You shave off 20 millimeters and it's this big. Okay. And that's, uh, I think it's okay. around 1,100 bucks. It's oh, pretty sick. all right. So I could get on board with that for about 2,800. Yeah. And Less the, than three. And the cool thing is like, there's so much, there's so many third party support. Like Nikon Z, Canon R, like they have amazing first party lenses from mm -hmm. you know Nikon mm -hmm. makes them, Canon makes them. They're hard to get right now mm. and they're backward, but there's no Tamron on the Sigma yet. That's I was literally Maybe. just going to ask it's you hard. that. Are they are they manufactured? I, I I would think if COVID wasn't a thing, it would have already been here. It probably would have been here. Yeah. It has been production. Nikon Z and Canon R five R six has been like selling like freaking hotcakes. Yes. So it 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 would have been here already. I I, I just can't see these companies like like putting their their foot off the pedal because yeah, you know, yeah yeah sony has like 15 tamron lenses now I mean, it's wow. crazy you know, they're, they're like they're completely flushed out for sony you know wow canon are like like we sell like each month it's head-to-head -head canon versus nikon like we were selling more canon at one point yeah than r5 and r6 yes but we'll slow down a little bit just because inventory issues but we finally got some r6s in stock oh. which is like the, i think that's the one you would like i think a lot of your um, yes. Do a lot of your client base. Yes. Because yes. it's, it's twenty five hundred bucks. Yes. Or twenty eight hundred with a, with a good lens. It's it's a really good 
right. combo. Like, right. I, like they, that's the one I'm still uh, Canon skin tones are so beautiful to me. <laughs> and, like, I always laugh. I'm like, it doesn't matter. You shoot raw. You know, you're going to get... I know, I know. Canon skin tones are good. I really I like know. Skin. I know. I mean, I say the same thing. I say I shoot Nikon, but I still love Canon skin tones. Oh, wait, you shoot raw. You can change it. Yeah, but it's not the same. I, know, I don't know. There's know, just something about the Canon color that I I do love the Canon colors. And, uh, but not, obviously, Nikon, Sony, no slouch. And, but no, of course. But, uh, do you know any good places to get, like, presets or anything like that? I mean, I have a couple. I do have yeah. a couple. Yeah, and they're very inexpensive. You should check out the Flourish Academy right. presets. I like your deep green. Yeah, it's it yeah, it rid of all right the there. green. Oh, yeah, yeah, it just desaturates it. And it, they're good for like overall getting the image like really close to being done. You might have to tweak a little bit, but it's a great start. Yeah, well, it's so nuts now because nice. all these cameras have like crazy dynamic range. It's and insane. like you, you never get clipping or the posturization. Like but you used to. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like yeah. the sensors are so good. You just like slap those presets on. You're ready to I know. Go. And you know what? <laughs> Which makes me think anybody that gets these cameras and complains about anything like that, I'm like, oh my gosh. You should have been shooting with them 15 years ago. They were terrible. I know. Like a guy was looking at like an entry level SLR and I'm like in, or like an entry level mirrorless camera for like 700 bucks yesterday. He's like, is this good? I'm like, if you had that 10 years ago, you'd probably, you would have been. You would have been great. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> 10 years ago uh, though. That's a decade. I know. So what do you do when somebody asks, or they come in like that, and they ask for a DSLR, an older model that still still sells, like um, maybe a Canon Rebel or yeah. or the Nikon. The D3000 yes, series. Yes, yes, 3 or 5,000 series. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, like, we have some of it in stock still. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely one of those things where, you know, I lo always love about our store is our return rate. It's like... 0.1%. Oh, low. No, why? Why? Because we ask so many questions and oh. we get like 10 models in your hand. You know what I mean? I want you to feel this. I want you to, like, what do you like about the Canon? What do you like about the Fuji that I just showed you? What do you like about the Sony? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we have that 3500 sitting here. You know, we have it in stock. It's great. Uh, I could just bring you up. That'd be, su that'd be really easy for us to do. But I want to make sure you're getting the camera that's right for you, even if you're spending less money. It's just like, you know, because like, I want them to walk out happy. We're not a vending machine. So, uh, so I, it, so people do come in. I'm like, I, I gotta show you an electronic viewfinder. I got you gotta put your right. eye up to it. Right. So and and don't you think it's um, easier, faster to learn on a mirrorless than a DSLR at this point because you can see what you're gonna get. Yeah, and like like I, someone was saying, like, hey, I'm going from a you know Rebel T7i to a you know uh, R6 or 5D. I'm like, it's actually easier to use the 5D and R6 because like, right. if you're trying to right. change manual mode, you don't have to hold a button to change the aperture. You right. just have dials for it and buttons for it. You don't have to right. go to menus and mess around. Yeah. Um, Becky <laughs> Becky says, are there skateboards behind you? Yeah, we're a skateboard <laughs> shop too now. <laughs> Robbie has pivoted and has some skateboards in the shop. Uh, no, no, not pivot. No. It's, it's uh, Synergy. Oh, Synergy. It's Tenet. Okay. Um, Augmented. Added to. Uh, yes. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're doing a skate shop called Shutter Skates uh, Shutter Skate Supply at YM Camera. Uh, I all, love that the yeah, shutter. Yeah. I love that. So it's we're having That's a lot of fun. Clever. If, uh, if you know any <laughs> skaters, let us know. Uh, we're not taking our foot off the pedal when it comes to cameras. We're ordering more. If anything, uh, we're doing more video now because that has a really good synergy with skate. Uh, we have three or four skaters on staff here. We all love it. Oh, that's why. Because everybody's into it. Yeah. And it's so, really right. fun. So uh, come in for calibration, but buy your kids a skateboard. Wow, that's, you're that's, here. That's, that's, he was literally cool. five minutes ago trying to sell me on a skateboard for my son, Evan. And I'm like... Evan what? needs one. Are you kidding me? It's a skateboard? That is so what funny. Is he 14? 15? 13. 13. Okay. 13. Yeah, it's first skateboard time. Okay. I, I want to go back to this low return rate because you ask all of these questions. So you wouldn't want somebody coming in buying that. 3500 and then going home and hating it. Yeah, I don't, right. I don't return, but like, right. yeah, right. I'm super easy returns. Like, I, one thing is I never nickel and dime. Like, you know, we try to make easy returns as much as possible. But uh, it's, I think we ask so many questions and we narrow it down so much. Like, that's a fun thing. Like, you know, if you're like, hey, is the grass really green or are we can and I want to check out a Sony, just come and play with one. Like, I don't care. It's have fun. Yeah, that's a good a idea. Day. You know, one of the things that really impressed me when we first met several years ago is I was in here and I have watched you and the staff consistently almost downsell people like you don't try to upsell you you try to give them what they need or what they want and if that results in a downsell you just whatever yeah, you just go right. for yeah, like, yeah. Like, like i don't want to go for a home run you know like you left with everything i wanted to and i want you to be here. happy yeah i want you to come back we'll have fun your next lens i want you to get it here right right Perfect. and also if you're not local you have a huge online presence yeah we're so they can get a ton online 
and you can just go to their website, ymcamera.com, and check it out. Michelle says, Nikon Z62 or 72 for weddings. Would the Z2 with 45 megapixels take too long to load and edit? I have D750s now. 6.2. No, I, I'd probably go to the 6.2. It's a direct upgrade from the 750, better in low light. Um, you, you just said Z72 though, that's 3,000 bucks. And then the Z62, that's 2,000 bucks. You just gave yourself $1,000 for a new lens, a new mirrorless lens. Oh, wow, so, that's really good thinking. I'd rather see that like you get a 6.2 and a native lens. You know, I'm, I've said it a thousand that's times. That's good advice. You, you're gonna get a t-shirt of it. They change the mount for a reason. They change the mount yeah, for a reason. You yeah. need to get a native lens. You yeah. need to. I'm making you. You're not leaving out. If you get a 6.2, if you get a 7.2, if you get an R5, R6, you have to leave with one piece of glass that fits on that body without an adapter. I think that's fantastic advice and specifically speaking to that, Michelle, is when you think about going to a camera that's 45 me megapixels, you really do have to consider your workflow as a wedding photographer. Lacey's going to love you. But seriously, <laughs> more cards, bigger cards, faster, com new computer, more hard drives, like literally everything you do will cost more money. Yeah, it, it, but the thing is like, you know, if you, if you said you're doing 100% studio portraits and landscape, I'd probably, yeah, I'd go Z7-2s for the cropping. Right. Would you hate a Z7-2 for wedding day? No, you'd absolutely love it. I mean, it's a great camera and you got, you got a made pixel. If anything, I've seen people do, hey, I have a 750 and an 850, and you can do that in the same with mirrorless. I have a Z6-2, I have a Z7-2. You know, for when, when I want to do bridal portraits, when, when I want to do the big group shots. I love you, it. You want to get, get both. You, you want to get all, <laughs> all the 10 uncles in there and stuff like right. that. Right, right. Like right, there. so you'd use the D850 for the formal portraits, really nice things, and you're using the 750 for the ceremony, the reception, yeah. But honestly, right. you could get away, not get away, you get excellent results with the Z62. I love the Z62. That's right. what I go with. And what, what did you say it runs 2,000? Two grand, two Gs. Okay, all that's right. That's what the cool kids call it. Oh, is that right? That's how they speak. I've yeah. been stock, I think. We're hard to get right now. Oh, okay. And what about the 70 to 2? <laughs> I always go. We have the 70 to 200. It's 2396. <laughs> okay. We do 12 months. So we're hours. in. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like. We take PayPal. <laughs> I mean, a decent amount. But, you know, if you think about it, this is how I look at it. If you are a professional photographer, especially weddings, you have a ton of gear. I bet you have gear you're not using. Why not sell that gear and upgrade to these pieces? I think we have a trade in day coming up. Oh, when is your day? 23rd. July 23rd, cash for cameras. I sold my old Nikon D700s um, actually, last year. They actually, I saw them buried in the backyard after Heather left. Yeah, they were like, we don't even want these, but here's some money for them. But actually, I thought when they, they, they were super generous. I mean, like, I was surprised how much money I got for those. Like, we, like for, it's kind of cool. Like, there's a misconception where it's like, we have the same formula for them. For about 80% of the gear. Mm. If you have a 7200, a 24 to 70, a D750, we're paying the same as them. Yes, they, they, yes. They, they may give a bonus, a little bit of a, bit, a bonus, but the weird stuff, like I'm not aggressive on D700s. I don't, I don't want them. Oh, well, right, it. because why? They are aggressive. This? Yes. Yeah, which is cool. Right. Yeah. So for some weird stuff or big lots or film stuff. They are very aggressive. And, we need and we're to, straight up about it. We, I tell you exactly what I'll give you. Well, because if I were to sell you my old D700s with like 50 trillion shutter clicks, who's going to buy that? Yeah, like they're selling online, eBay and stuff like that. And but I'm not stuff. taking the time to do that. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, right. Okay, that's a big deal that day. So we need to make sure we're yeah, we'll reminding thing. everybody about that. Okay, talk to me about the gear that you have currently. Um, talk to me about the... Canon R5 and R6, they seem to be really popular, yes. Yeah, they're still killing it, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, little supply issues on those, especially on the lenses, but uh, we finally got an R6 demo model here in the store. Uh, very fun, 5D-like controls on the back there. So you got your, your control stick right there, you got your extra one for ISO. Uh, I think, this is our best selling camera of the year so far. Really? I really think it is, R6. Oh, that's interesting. Because you get it with this lens here for like 2,800 bucks. And I've been talking to a ton of people and they're like, hey, I'm going mirrorless and I do, you know, 99.9% .9 photo, but I want to offer some video or some highlight sessions yes. and stuff like yes. that. So I'm like, hey, skip the body only. For 300 bucks, you get this native lens. It's a 24 to 105, but it's STM. So it, like, it's silent video tracking and stuff. So for 300 bucks, if you're doing like, and you can use it as a webcam, and I'm like, this is such a good native lens to just, for video and using it as a webcam. Like, I see a ton of people doing like highlight reels and sessions now. Yes, yes, it's very popular. So yes. I, I think, you know, that's why I like this kit for like 2800 bucks. 
Oh, may I? Yeah. I think the nicest thing about this for video, like you said, is I don't know a lot about video. And when I try to do video on my D750, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you hear all the noise and stuff like that, right? And I have no clue what I'm doing. And it's not working and it doesn't look good. So I ended up doing it with my phone. But with something like this, it tracks your face. It's That's, like all, all yeah, automatic yeah, yeah. for people like me. I mean, if somebody really knows what they're doing with the video, they can mess more. Yeah. But for me, I put it on video and I literally hit record. <laughs> Red button. You're good. And I. I, like standard settings, <laughs> I have no clue. And then, but it tracks everything and it's quiet and it focuses really fast. It is beautiful for video. And you're still under three grand for everything. That's yeah, so that's awesome. amazing. I think you should do that for all of your sessions. It's not even when your clients, like they don't even know. Like you just hit yeah. it and you just, right? Dual SD card slots. All oh, dual slots, okay. That's nice for us wedding photographers. And then, the, and then these are really cool. New battery, new, new old battery, the LPE6 NH. So you get 30% longer battery life. And if you have a 5D, you can put these in there and it'll put the battery life on there too. Wow. It's kinda cool, so a new battery. Um, so are we still with the battery, I mean like on mirrorless? It's way better. Yeah, it's and getting it's, better all the time. Remember like, like I was, I think I was talking to you, she's trading a bunch of Fuji stuff and uh, she said she had like 12 batteries for wedding day. <laughs> it's better, it's getting better all the time, I promise. Yeah, That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, it needs to last a little bit longer than that, but I understand, well, I understand, it, yeah, it makes sense. Right, 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 exactly. Okay, and then what do you got here? And then Z6 2, Z7 2, I, I kinda already hit on that in the price points, but then the Z5 is still a thousand bucks body only. Uh, we talked to Nikon, this is the direct replacement for the 750. Is that right? 750 came out in 2014. Yeah. They were like discontinued. Yeah. So you really can't even get them anymore. And, and so for $1,000, you get a full frame mirrorless camera with dual SD card slots. What? Yeah. I don't even know that I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good deal. There's some $1,000? You know, there's some upgrades with the Z6 II and 7 II, but for 1000 bucks, you can't full beat frame, it, right. 24 megapixel, better in low light than the 750 in dual SD card slots. It's like, yeah, it's awesome, Z5. I wonder. If I should bring in my, oh my gosh, I can't even you believe should, I'm saying yeah, this. You should do it. You should trade, trade some stuff in. Bring my D750 in for cash or cameras and get one of those. I would do that. What's the, what's the, you want to take one home? What's the 70 to 200 on that right now? We'll figure something out. 2396. <laughs> Cause he knows if I play with it. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to buy it. Okay. Talk to me uh, about the differences then. You just sort of mentioned it, the difference between that and the Z6 and the Z7. All right, so, Z, so Z5, Z6, both 24 megapixels. I think Z6 is technically a little better in low light. It's pretty close to me. Yeah, probably like by mm -hmm. this much, yeah. Yeah, it's a backside illuminated sensor. Um, the Z5 is four and a half frames per second. The Z6 II is 12. Okay. That's the big difference. But when does that matter? Uh, if, if, if you're uh, gonna go photograph the Olympic trials, Oh, definitely. I'd probably grab the Z6 too. 100%. But, uh, if you are an Olympic photographer, <laughs> then that's what you or need. Or sports or wildlife. Sports. Yeah. It's sports. Yeah. But, but for everyday use, I think. Like that to me, frames per second in 17 years in business has never mattered. Really? To me. That's never. Sick. That's awesome. I mean, I, I appreciate the higher numbers if I did have to rapid fire something, but it was really, I mean, and I did. She sometimes. may need the 6 too with Evan's skateboarding career. You really want to catch that's up and coming. He's gonna right. learn how to nollie and kick flip and heel flip. It's gonna be sick. I literally don't know any of those ones. Yeah. Okay. So that the frames per second, and then yeah. what else? Um, 4K video modes. I, I know a lot of you guys like it. You know, you, you like having the option of video. Some people are like they, if they remove that feature and I could save a hundred dollars, I would. <laughs> but uh, if you're doing more video, the 6.2 does have a like no crop in 4K mode, which is a really big deal. Okay. And it's 4.2.2.10 bit. Which is, yeah. You're, I was gonna right. say that. Yeah, well, it, yeah, you're gonna say that. Um, Wait, but, that uh, has video, right? It, I, it does 4K video. Why would I need anything? The Z6 II has only one, like, no crop. Like, it, it goes crop sensor when you go to 4K video, which doesn't matter for real. Do you, okay, hold on. If you're, doing, if you're doing wedding video, you'd want the Z6 II. If you're doing just like short videos or like fun videos. Or like if your kids are vacation. You, you would not. I, you would be because I'm not projecting this in a theater, Robbie. Okay, it's fine. It's, most people will watch it on their phones. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I don't need, I don't know why I would need, like why do I need <laughs> more pixels and more Ks? I don't know. I don't I, know. I hear you. Okay. What's the, what are the big differences between the 6 and the 7? 6-2, 7-2, megapixels. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, and, and like in between the Z6 Mark One, Z, Z7 Mark One versus the twos, the twos have dual card slots and uh, faster focus because they have a second processor for focusing. How do you find most photographers feel about dual card slots if they're not wedding photographers? N Nikon listened, I think, and they, and they mm -hmm. said that, hey, I want dual, dual mm -hmm. card slots for, my, I, we want the wedding photographers, I think, event photographers. Yes. I yes. can't blame them. I mean, yeah. that's, yes. you know, that's cool. But other people, normal people? Normal people, like, I like my Z6. Like, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't really care. You don't care, right. But, but I, I kind of like the Z5. Because it's dual card slots, but it's like the SD card slots. Yes. The, the SD cards are cheap. They're so cheap. Or counterfeit if you get them on Amazon. But no, they're cheap. But you can get the CF Express cards. Yes. For uh, for the Z72, Z62. Right. right? That, that's SD. But they're more expensive, but they're more professional card for professional photographers. Well, this is actually, you bring up an important point. Because if you are going to use any of these for video, you, you need have, fast cards. You need fast Super cards. Fast cards yeah. Which means you need new cards. Right. Right. Everyone, everyone usually gets like, hey, I'll just take a new car and kind of restart my collection. Right. When they come in store anyway. So right. it's, a, it, it's a good, it's a good idea. What size cards are you selling these days? It's like 128. It's like, yeah, like it's 64, crazy. 128. Like, remember 16s, 8 gigs, even 32s now? It's like, this is right. It just fills up. It just feels, I have a couple of older ones sitting around. I should probably just throw them away. I was telling Craig What's yesterday, like, I said, do you remember when I had the um, Canon 20D? Back in the day, my very first compact flash card that was one gig, one gig compact flash was five hundred dollars. Uh, it's nuts. I threw those away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like technology was so. Great. Uh, so what's uh, what are those cards? These but, what like, are they running? These like for the new SD cards that are fast, you're still under one hundred fifty bucks for some really fast cards. Yeah. yeah. Even for the CF Express, which is like the XQD card, the new one, mm -hmm. I have a reader bundle. You get a one hundred twenty eight gig card and a reader for two hundred bucks. It's awesome. Yeah. Can't so would would you say that you? Most people, no matter what they're photographing or whether they're doing video or not, they do probably still need to consider speed on these cards because Definitely. of the size of these files. Raw is the main thing. If you're doing a raw burst, like you, you do want a fast card. Right. That's right. And, and like memory has changed so much with the classifications. Remember like class four, class six? Okay. Everything's class 10 now, but now there's U3, which is almost everything's U3. Now there's V30, V60, and V90. And I feel bad. When the people on the other side of the counter are trying to be like, what do I need? And like, we just kind of, we, we have a little chart. We kind of just try to make it really easy for you. Yeah. Where if you're doing 4K or 8K video, you need the fastest. Uh, if you're doing 4K and shooting raw, you need at least a V60. Yeah. Yep. If, if you're going to the Poconos and taking some photos, and your V30 is fine. So yeah. how can people tell, like, I know when we have classes, which are upcoming, we got to yeah. talk about that in a second, yeah. but these cards, they could look at their card. You could pop out your card right now. And what should they look for that's like, ooh, you might want to consider getting a new one? Um, uh, sorry, one second. He's, Robbie is multitasking. Terry, you mind me downstairs? Uh, sorry guys. Uh, uh, business. New cards, uh, UHS-2, so dual card slots and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, repeat the question. I'm so sorry. Uh, there's, I no, there's it's, a lot going on in the store. Yeah. Uh, that's why we come upstairs with the skateboards. What if somebody were to look at their card? What would they see that would be like, ooh, I better replace this? Anything under like 80 megabytes per second, okay. I probably need to do one. Right. So what are those those um, U3, V, like, U1s? If somebody sees U1, that's like... That's no very slow. U3 is like the minimum okay. for like any new mirrorless camera. Okay. And okay. then UHS-2 is like the dual pins, which I can grab an example of that here okay. in a second. All right. But before I let you get back to work. Yes. Let's talk about education here at YM Camera. So we had opened up the loft for education. When did we do that? 2018. Yeah, yeah, 2018. We had phenomenal two years worth of amazing classes, tons of classes. Things slowed down a little last year, whatever. We're back in the saddle. Yeah, what happened last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. We're, no, we're back in the saddle. Yeah, we are starting to open up classes for July. So I'm here to work with Robbie on the July schedule. Yeah. So there will be classes for myself, from Terry, from others, so keep your eye open for that, and let us know if there's anything specifically that you would like to see. We're just gonna start listing those classes again. Definitely, all right, well I appreciate you guys so much. Please call me if you have any questions, we are here for you. We are your friendly local camera. Ah, we'll see you in the next video, thanks.